We previously used the API to fetch exchange rates and we made a simple GET request using a URL of the API. Now my friend Sam here has a question. What does it mean that this is a GET request? It means it uses the standard implementation of the internet for fetching resources. Resources anything in the internet with a URI. A web page is a resource too. When we open a web page, we actually make a GET request to the web page over the internet to fetch the page. So let's check what is going on when we load the HTML page with a browser. Let's first use the developer tools in the browser to see the network traffic. Then I'll reload the page and you'll see all the files and other resources which are loaded. Up in the list is the main HTML page of this site. If you look more closely, we'll see that there is a GET request and that the response is actually the page itself in a raw HTML format. If we now try the API request in the browser, we'll see it works too, only the data is JSON and not the HTML. We can try another API with a GET request and no authentication, but this time what we will get back is a picture and not text. Clearbit offers customer data related APIs for marketing and sales purposes. Most of their APIs require you to pay and authenticate, but the Logo API is free for moderate amount of use. Let's see if it can find Osango logo. First we'll try it directly in browser and then in Postman. So does this mean we can use any API by just copying the URL to the browser window? Fortunately, no. Sometimes we need other things than just the URL and other verbs than just get. But let's leave that for a bit later. We'll try a little bit more complex get request first and then you can try it at home. Sam, it's your turn now. Are you ready? Yes, Mary Uka, I'm ready. What do I need to do? We got latest rates against euro previously. So now let's see the rates when the base currency is Swedish crowns. Okay. I see documentation has option to use base as a query parameter. I can use it by giving Swedish crowns as a value, but I need to use the ISO code for that currency. I can tell you it's SEK, but if you didn't know that, you can look it up in this page. Okay, so here is the API request. Let's see if it works. Great, it worked. So now you can try out the API in the next exercise. In the next video, I'll be sharing a secret who or what Sam really is and how he is related to APIs. So, see you soon.